Hello, 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 hello. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? I would like to just say, welcome to my neighborhood. Anyways, man, today we're going to be talking about some killer lithium ion, lipo, lithium, whatever you want to call them, and some Life Beautiful 4 battery chargers. Here in front of me, I have five, count them, one, two, three, four, and five Solar Jenny battery chargers. All right, man, so out of these five battery chargers that I've got sitting up here, the first thing I want to say is that every single one of these battery chargers are in metal cases, heavy duty, with built-in cooling fan. Now, our smaller chargers here generally have a mini Anderson connector like so. Just a little mini Anderson connector that you guys are kind of all familiar with. Uh, and they come with a, another matching set that you can wire up to your battery pack or your e-bike battery or your battery wall or whatever you'd like. So, um, that being said, we started our 120 watt model. These range from two amps up to five amps. And it depends on where you have these. If you got this in a 48 volt setup for a Life PO4, that's gonna be two amps. Uh, if you've got this in a 13S configuration for LiPo, uh, that's gonna be two amps. But if you go down into a 3S or a 4S LiPo, then you're gonna get that five amp. Now, also, if you do a 4S Life PO4, you're gonna have a five amp. Now, we run up here to our next charger, and this is what we call our C600. This unit here uh, will get up to 20 amps on a 12 volt system, about 15 amps on a 24 volt system, and then it drops a little bit more when we go to the 36 volt and the 48 volt. Uh, I think at 48 volts, you're still gonna be around 10 amps, 12 amps, something like that. Um, every one of these chargers that you see here, we have those both for lithium and also for life PO4. Now these chargers can be used for electric bikes, EV vehicles, um, power walls, golf carts, whatever. We have several different voltages from 3S LiPo, 4S LiPo, uh, 6S LiPo for all you guys that are using the Tesla Model S battery cells. We've got these for 6S for you guys. Uh, we've got them 7S for you guys with electronic bikes or electric bikes. We have them in 8S for guys with Life PO4. We've got them in 12S for Life PO4, 4S for Life PO4, and 16S for Life PO4. We also bring them up to 15S for you guys that have the Tesla Smart for two power wall modules. So I've covered almost every single voltage range that we need for lithium batteries or for lithium iron phosphate or otherwise known as LFP or Life PO4 batteries. So whatever your charger needs, we've pretty much got them over here at solarjenny.com or at westthattechguy.com. Like I said, every charger's got a different voltage range and each voltage range has a different amperage range. All right, so right here we got the 120 watt charger. I've got this, like I said, 3S, 4S, 6S, 7S, and 13S. And we've got this 4S, 8S, 12S, 16S for Life PO4. This is gonna run you at the best five amps for the 12.6 uh, or 14.6 volt range, depending where you're at, on your 3S or 4S for lithium or Life PO4. Even five amp at 16.8 volts for a 4S lithium. Then after that, it's gonna drop down to four amps once you get to 24 volts. And then it's gonna to drop to two amps once you get up to the 48 volts. So, and I think it's, it's either two or three for 36 volts. But there's so many different voltage ranges and there's so many different style of, of, of chargers that I have here that it's just crazy to try to remember everything. This little guy right here comes in at $60 over on our website or you can also find this over at my eBay store. Um, and then next we've got what we call our C600 model. Our C600 model is a little bit heavier duty. It's about, uh, I want to say it's about 480, 460 watts. Uh, I could be mistaken because I, my head is just going crazy with all these different numbers. It's either 360 or 460 or 480 watts. But nonetheless, this is a high average, high output uh, charger. At, let's just say for an electric bike at 7S, this is going to put out 15 amps of cooling power and uh, you're gonna charge that battery pretty quick. And if you drop this unit down to say 12 volt, you're gonna be at 20 or 25 amps. So that's kind of important to remember. Um, moving on over to our next one, which is our C600B. This charger here, once again, it's got all the voltage ranges, but this one that I got right here in front of me is a 25.2 volt 6S uh, 
lithium lipo charger and this is what you would use for your tesla modules this is going to come right out at 25.2 volts for the tesla modules and it's going to run 18 amps charge so if you've got any of the tesla model s modules um, this is going to give you eight amps of direct charge right to that negative and positive um, moving on over we have what we call our c1000 we also have these for our tesla's uh, uh, tesla modules as well we also have these for the Tesla Smart for Two module, so we have these in a 6S and a 7S uh, to go either way. And this one here is going to put out at 62 and a half volts, it's going to put out 10 amps. Moving on over here to my real big boy, we have what's called the S2500. We pretty much get these uh, right now currently for uh, 48 volt electric bikes, uh, the Tesla Power Walls and uh, whether we use the Tesla Model S modules or we use the Tesla Smart for two modules like I have in my house on uh, running my 12KW inverter. I also have the uh, Tesla Model S as some of you guys know so we're going to be experimenting with all of these and having a lot of fun with them and showing you guys how they work. Alright so why do I have all these chargers? All right. Well, first of all, we have boxes upon boxes upon boxes. We waited about two months for these to come in. They have finally arrived. And the reason we have these is a lot of guys don't want a balance charge or a lot of guys don't need to balance charge. They just have a battery pack built. Maybe there's a BMS, maybe it's for an electric bike, whatever the case is. These are very simple, plain Jane, positive negative chargers that put out the exact voltage that you need for your power wall, your battery pack. And it doesn't matter if you're running, if you're running in, you know, a 3S uh, lithium battery uh, pack, a 4S lithium battery pack, a 4S Life PO4 battery pack, if you have 12 volt pack battery packs and you're you're running a 12 volt system but you have six, di six different battery packs at 12 volts all ran in parallel, it doesn't matter. These will charge those for you. You can charge them individually or you can connect them up and just pack, power the whole pack yourself or power the whole pack. So it's not a problem. This is a very simple, intuitive, easy way to charge your power wall from an AC charger if you don't have the proper AC charger that's built into your inverter or you just want to have a, another way to charge your, your power wall, or if you just, like I said, want to charge your electric bike, your golf cart, um, your, your electric vehicle, your scooter, whatever the case it is. We've got chargers that will charge your kids' little uh, power, uh, power wheels. We've got them that will charge little Razor scooters. Whatever you need, we've got them over at westthattechguy.com or over at solarjetty.com. Or you can go over to my eBay store, it's Wester1205, and you can pick up all your batteries, battery chargers, inverters, etc., etc., etc. Anyways, all of the uh, battery chargers come with the opposing female end, so you will have that in the box. There's an owner manual in each box, and like I said, each one of these chargers has a cooling fan. None of our chargers have an on off switch. They just have a one LED light that's green or red, and then if it flashes, well, then that, that would be you know how it works, letting you know that it's charging. Red's charging, green is charged. Over here, the S2500 is a little more intense. Um, this is a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger unit here. At 62 and a half volts, um, this guy is putting out 14 amps of power for those bigger power walls. Uh, 50 amp Anderson connector on here, and of course, you can see the LED up here in the front, um, so it shows your voltage and its charge state. So that one's a little bit different, but this also doesn't have an on-off switch. So uh, these get a little more uh, spending. So like I was saying, this guy here is like 60 bucks. And then we get into the C600 at, at you know the higher amperage model. And I think that we're running, I don't know, 100, 160, 180. We go to the C600B, which is even higher. We get up to the, close to the 200 or over the $200 range, I believe. Are right around the $200 range and then we get into the C1000 which is even bigger than that and we're definitely I think 249 on the unit there and then we get all the way up to the 2500 model and this one's running in the $400 range now at its highest voltage range that we have it set for at 63 uh, 63 volts um, lithium 15 s you know you're getting 14 amps that's expensive no matter how you you know slice it or dice it if you're checking into battery charger so uh, they're just expensive but if you were doing a 12 volt system on this and you ran this down in the 12 volt area, you're probably looking at about 50 amps of uh, charge power on this. Anyways, guys, once again, we have a ton of these chargers. We're ready to ship them out. We're gonna start putting some battery packages together, some charger uh, packages together with some of our inverters and give you guys a whole complete package. Um, 
you know, if you're going to build a portable solar generator and you're just using a high frequency inverter that doesn't have a, a AC charger built in, then you're going to need something to charge those batteries via your AC power when you're plugged into the wall. And so these will work perfectly for that for you as well. If you guys have any questions at all about these battery chargers, be sure to ask them in the comment section down below. You'll be able to find these battery chargers right here uh, at any of our websites. And uh, give, me your, give me your opinion, give me your advice on these chargers, what you think about them. Um, but like I said, man, none of these are little plastic cheapies. These are all good metal cases with great fans. I've been using these chargers for, I'm going to say over 10 or 15 years now. And uh, I've never had a problem with them. You know, of course, there's quality control and stuff when they're built. We haven't built the R specs. Um, and there is one more thing that I do want to say. Each one of these chargers are designed to be one tenth of a volt lower than what they call for. So, if you're running a 20, uh, 20, let's say you're running a Tesla Model S module, okay, and that full charge is 25.2 volts, well, my chargers are going to give you 25.1 volts. We've, we've stepped them down one tenth of a volt, so you don't ever have to worry about exceeding your, your max capacity of that battery and ever damaging that battery. And a lot of you guys that I've talked to and that I see on all the other videos, a lot of you like to keep it under you know, the 25.2 volts or the 4.2 volts, so if you will, of each battery cell. So we've done that through every charger that we sell. We've dropped everything one tenth of a volt, so you'll never ever have to worry about them overcharging. And also, each one of these chargers will auto shut off uh, when your battery reaches full capacity. We have over overcharge protection circuitry built in here. We have reverse polarity protection built into here. We have, um, oh, uh, over temperature uh, protection built into here. So all of these, these chargers are just great little chargers. You're not gonna have any problems with them at all. So um, yeah, man, if, if you need me, come on over, see us, say something. If you like it in the comments section down below, as usual, man, like, subscribe, and share. Check out our Facebook page, our Instagram page. Uh, it's all West That Tech Guy. And until next time, man, we'll see you.